Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, let's taste test these then. So, eat that. We're going to be good? I hope so. Because it'll be a real sad way to go out from mushrooms. Oh, that does not look good, though. Can we not, like, just pick it up? Oh, God, no, we're eating it. What is it? An Augustus. I think, I think I've eaten one of them before. Recognize the name. What is this? I mean, we've got to test it, right? We've got to know if we can get sick from these. So far, this area is really good. Like, the lava that I can eat from the uh, from the logs. The actual mushrooms. Let's have a look at how we're doing. Metabolism. Sodium's still very high. Stomach's pretty full, though. So is my colon. I'm going to take a poop in a second. I am hearing some real, real stressful stuff around here, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to lie to you guys. There's, there's a certain noise which sounds like almost like an animal dying. And I know you guys have told me they're not necessarily zombies and stuff. They're puppets. I did know that, but I, I don't know if I can get behind calling them puppets. I get the whole thing. The whole story behind it, which I suppose in a sense is cool, but zombies are better. We're sticking with zombies. <laughs> oh my god, is there wolves in this? Okay, I need to find out. <laughs> I totally forgot. I know there's a bear in it, but I meant to check after the last episode if there was any more uh, predators in this. Oh, you watch, guys. Now I've said that, you know what's going to happen. If they're in the game, I'm going to run into them in this episode. It's fate. Bound to happen. Right, what I want to do then is just collect my thoughts for a second and see what we need to make a fire with. The one I've been making is just the basic stuff. I'll show you guys which one it is. I think it's just the improvised one. You can make a firing as well, which I think this is what we did at the end of the episode. Can I actually just put more wood into that? Well, apparently I'm fueling the fire. And we, we got to light this thing now too, right? Okay, so the way I did it last time, let's use the fire drill. And then you want to highlight both of them. And then you want to light fire. There we go. We, we've at least got a fire going now. Let's see what that looks like from the outside. A little bit stressed out about what that noise could be. <laughs> Look how cool that looks, though. With the light coming from the inside. A definite giveaway if there's anybody in this area. Very cool, though. I would really love it if we could light the uh, the bottom of the chimney, though, and like, have, like, smoke coming out the top. It's like a dead giveaway. Somebody's in the house. I'm not seeing any sign of anything. Not even zombies. I don't think anything is in the immediate area, but even so. Right, what I wanted to do is make another bow. Because I think the best course of action is we're going to get a couple of hours sleep. And then I think we should go hunting. Just cutting a pair of socks up into rags. I don't... Yeah, I suppose I could use that one. Let's swap that around with that. Put you on the floor. Can I not... Join these up? Oh, that makes everything so much easier. Okay, let's do that for everything then. Totally didn't see that before. So what's this? 9mm tracer bullet? What's this one? 22 and that is also 9mm tracer. So if I join those two... Oh, look at that. That's freeing up so much space. 9mm goes onto that one. Oh, oh, that's such a good feeling. That is such a good feeling. Not 45 ACP armor piercing. 357 armor piercing too. I didn't know... Or I didn't actually realize I got armor piercing for both of those. Okay, here's a question for you guys at home. I would love to know if there is a way... With this paper that we can get in the game... If there's a way to make like... Like, grab some charcoal or something, or make a pen or a pencil. And then write on these notes and leave them somewhere. Because I would love to leave clues for people that are on the server, you know. Or even just to kind of freak them out a little bit. Or maybe for them to leave them for me. If anybody knows that, let me know. Because I would love to do that. Can I sew any of my stuff together? Like, what about this hat? Let's see if we can... Is that going to use the, the sewing kit? Okay, so I'm, a, I'm assuming that we, we've got our hat right now and we're repairing it. I was just kind of testing to see if this... Yeah, it did. I think it went down. And that's now back at 100. Okay, can we do the same thing for the backpack? Because ideally, that's... Oh, I don't know. I don't want to lose stuff that's in the backpack. Oh, you know what? I'm never going to know. If I don't do it, I'll never know. And if I get down to, like, really low durability or it's, a, it's about to go... Oh, 100%. Nice. And it's only used two of them as well. Cool. So the sewing kit is a definite good find. 
What else have we got that I could use with repairing? Well, the sexy jean shorts are staying with us for a little bit longer until we find some pants, but I think we're good. I just really want to know what this looks like, so let's ignite the flare. Oof, that's really bright. All right, how do we throw that, though? G, there we go. Okay, it's the same as Daisy then. Oh my god, we've got an arm on us. Okay, well, at least it's not near the cabin. So if anybody is going to be attracted over to it, it's going to be over that side. That's really cool, though. <laughs> I love little things like that in games. Like, when I find stuff like that, you guys won't see it because I'll probably cut a load of it out. But <laughs> I'll end up playing with that sort of stuff for so long. All right, give me my bow back. All right, so I think what I'm going to do, look at that. Red just glowing over there. If I saw that, like, if that was somebody's torch or something moving through the tree line... That's when you know. Okay, fire out. We got to go over to the northeast. So cool, though. It looked like there was a light coming out the side of that window. There are people on right now, so it wouldn't be totally out of the question. I don't think anybody's here. You guys know I love that animal. But there's very few things more terrifying than hearing that at nighttime being out in the woods. I don't think anybody is here, but if I was here and somebody was moving up on me, I'd be staying really quiet too. Oh, we look like we're good. Let's go inside. What we got? Some slippers. Those zombies just lay around us. This might not be a bad... Shit, there is. Don't know if that was loud enough to bring anything else in. Let's reload up. I didn't think there was going to be anything in here until I saw it just turn the corner and saw the legs. If we can use this. Repair. I did drop my rifle. Gotta make sure that I'm picking that up. I know it's super easy to just leave that behind. And I'd rather have the rifle than the bow. Right, let's see. Equip. There we go. Right, we got some pants now. Things are looking up, even though I think because they were damaged or are still damaged. I think we can only use 50% of it, which makes sense. Flint and steel, cotton shirt, trainers. Okay, that's actually really good to know. I'm glad we kind of experimented with this sewing kit before. Let's uh, let's do that again then. So if we go back to the sewing kit, where's the pants? Can we not repair them anymore? Click the sewing kit, click the pants. Cut into rag. Okay, no, we can only repair them up to 50%. I think that's because we took it off this. Oh, we found some work pants. Of course we did, right? So... What are better than there? 50 there. Okay, yeah, let's let's equip those. Can we actually repair those too? That would be really good if we could do that. I mean, it was a bit of a waste doing this, but at least we know we can do that. Repair. Please take us to 100 with that. That would be so good. Okay, that did give us 100. And I think what I'm going to do is just use these pants to store all of the ammunition. Because I don't like it being scattered all over the place like this. It's just kind of confusing my inventory. All right, it's, it's confusing me at least. Let's just make sure everything's all in one place. Right, the fire kits. I can put the mag down in there too. What else we got? Sewing stuff. You can go down there next to the scissors and the sexy jean shorts. I know it's really dark for you guys, and I can only apologize about that, that I don't really have a light source. And I'll be honest, I really don't know how to make a torch either. But I do know that we've just picked up some fireworks, and I think this will be a pretty cool spot to set them off, even if it is going to attract a lot of attention. So let's just do it. How do we put them on the floor, I guess? And then can we just grab some matches and then use? Oh. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> Probably time to go. <laughs> if I needed a distraction, real good to know that those things are so cool. 
I wonder if this brings in the zombies too. Probably going to find out any minute now if we see a load of them. Oh my god, that's so loud. Are they done? Awesome. All right, I'm not hearing any of the zombies coming in, so we should be good. Okay, so I'm seeing some houses back there, or at least some buildings. There is a zombie on the road here as well, though. Don't really want to be messing around with the bow right now, so we're just going to switch to the hunting rifle. I'm just going to try and clock this thing in its head and keep it moving. Where did I drop that? Right there next to that thing. Make a mental note. Let's get a little bit closer. I don't quite know how far away these things get triggered from. Don't really want it sprinting at me as well when I'm trying to get a headshot on it. Okay, that definitely wasn't a headshot. Reload it up. Oh, here it comes. That took it down. <laughs> For a second, I thought we were going to have to panic. We're okay, though. How many more rounds of this stuff have I got? Where's the 22? 22, we've got 16 more rounds, okay. It's actually such a solid find. I'm so happy that we got that. And I am aware as well that the 22 is a very low caliber, but, I mean, as you can see, it does the trick. That's how we kind of needed it for. I don't think this guy's going to have anything. May as well check it, though. It's always that one time when you don't check it, and there's probably something really good on it, right? So, all right, what we got? A beanie. Some Crocs. <laughs> I mean, they're refined. Hippie pants. A jock jacket. And the, I'm seeing a lot of this wire. I wonder what that stuff's used for. I mean, obviously, it looks like there's some kind of construction in the game, but... It's everywhere. Veliki Tabor. So this is like another one of those small towns that we've been to before. So this is the size of it. It's roughly around the size of this one. So we kind of know what to expect. Okay, I've dropped the bow. I can always make another one. I'm getting a little bit tripped out at the fact that I'm not seeing anything around this town. The other one we went to, there was a couple of them walking around. It was only when I fired a shot that it drawn them in. Speaking of as well, I need to see how much is left on this suppressor. Is there a way to check that? Let's see. 99%. Okay. We're still golden with that. Good to know that I should keep all of those bottles though, just in case. Seeing as though it is only a low caliber, I think that's why it's, it's not going down as much. Look, there's just nothing though. Oh my fucking god, that made me jump. <sighs> I think I got a little bit lucky with that headshot. I didn't actually aim for it. I just wanted to make it stagger a little bit so we could put a bit of distance between us, but where did it come from? Oh, it was on this. It's just resting on this mattress. Right, well, I guess seeing as though we've cleared this place out, I'm going to wait here for a couple of hours. Just, my health is going down. It's gone down from 81 to 80. Let's see. Vitamin D deficiency. Physical injury phase one. Okay, right. So if we use a bandage then, uh, patch wounds. Let's keep an eye on where we drop that. I think, yeah, that's going back into slot two. I'm so paranoid about dropping that rifle now because I was using the bow as well. Keep an eye on this too. Make sure that... Okay, yeah, it is. It's treated. So you can see it says 77% on the left. Now that we've treated it, it should slowly be going up unless it needs a little bit more treatment. And then I need to tend to it. We go to the top of the actual bell tower. That'd be kind of sick. It's like a little sniper spot to wait out the night. You definitely hear anybody coming up on us if we, if they're moving up the stairs. <laughs> oh yeah, this is perfect. Get a good overview of the town when the sun comes up. Be able to see a little bit better too. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do then. Some reindeer ears and some underpants. So I thought I'd bring you guys back because. Right next to the mattress where we found that zombie that pretty much scared the ever-living shit out of us when we came into this church, there was a rifle right on the other side of it. So I thought I'd pick it up as a backup, or if I do run into someone, maybe we can trade something. I think it's time to head out, though, and take a look at this city. So the plan is, I'm not going to spend too much time here. There's a police station or something that I can hit up, then I'm going to probably do that, and then just keep it moving up this road, and either see what's going on here, or maybe... I should head into the cold because I've got the clothing now that I needed. Baseball cap, what we got on? Oh yeah, I'm not swapping my boonie. There's no way. 
But yeah, I don't really want to spend too much time in this area. Got a little bit of rest at the top of that, though. But we'll see what we can find, and then we're just going to keep it moving. I've not heard anything either, so the fireworks definitely didn't attract anybody in. Kind of hoping that we get a different coat as well, because right now I've got a bright red one on. <laughs> I stick out like a sore thumb. Oh, yeah. Some shelving and stuff. Basic skill awareness. I can't tell you guys how bad that just made me jump as well. All right, what we got? Nothing found. What's this? Harmonica. I don't know. Are we able to play that? That's a hit. <laughs> That's a hit right there. All right, how do we get rid of this? I mean, we'll keep it on us. It might keep our spirits up. And uh, nothing. And nothing. Oh, this place really was empty. Nothing inside. There's noise coming from over here as well. I'm, I'm assuming there's a zombie inside one of these houses or something. Oh, no, he's right in the middle of the street. Right, let's get a little bit closer to him. That's really cool, though. Look at that. That broken down building like that. You climb up to the top of that, you get a good sniper spot. Right, let's get a little bit closer. I'm just going to go around the side of him so I can get a clear shot of that head. Hoping this doesn't bring anything else in. Is that a police station? I think that is a police station. That looks really familiar. It's like when we was in the other town, we went through that door. All right, we'll check that out then. Let's see if I can get rid of you. Come on. There we go. <laughs> we'll leave it to the last minute. All right, well, that one's dead. I think there's one upstairs, though. As well. Oh, no, he's right there. Hey, big guy. I really hope you can't jump through that window right now, because that would be terrifying. I think we're all right. Some more noise is coming from in that tree line, but it's not inside of here, which is what matters, right? Nine millimeter. We'll just hold on to that. Is that more three, five, seven? Yeah, it is. I mean, I don't want to hold on to too much stuff that I can't really use or make use of right now. So, I mean, I may drop some things, but depending on what we do come across, God, I would, I would really like just to find another pistol or something, you know, even if it's just like something that's compatible with the nine millimeter ammunition that we've got. Yeah, there's nothing in these. I'm not going to bother searching that. I know I've said before that it's the one time <laughs> you don't search them that something's good on them, but I have... Su oh, suppressor! An MP5 suppressor! Okay, yeah, we're definitely holding on to that. <laughs> okay, a golden deagle. So, I have seen this before. If you ever watched the video, or pretty much the first video that I ever covered on Scum, I actually pooped one of these out. <laughs> There's no noise. I think that was outside. And the cells look completely clear. Nice. Some shoes in there. It's always good. I thought that was a shoe. <laughs> I was just going to say, it's a good idea to check these cells just in case there's any clothing left behind, but it was this thing's leg. All right, let's get looking then while we've got a little bit of time. Let's use it. we got respirator. Oh, hell yeah. We'll equip that. You guys already know. Advanced lockpick. Oh, yeah, we'll definitely hold on to that. A set of lockpicks for opening doors without the key matching the lock. Oh, that could be real nice, especially if we come across like a... Abandoned base or something. You know, like a like a almost like a military installment. If we can't get inside of it, that'd be real good. I just don't know how many uses I get out of that thing. I'm trying to work out what's making all that noise, but I really need to urinate apparently, so that's what we're gonna do. I guess this is as good a place as any real quick. Oh shit. This is like the worst time that something can run up on me right now.
Oh, it's a pig. You guys see that at the top there? Oh, we hit it. Don't know if we actually took that down there. That pig is going to be pissed. There's something right there. Yep, yeah, it's down. We got ourselves a piggy. Well, I did say that I wanted to do a little bit of hunting in this episode. Kind of planned on doing it with a bow. But... It's not a bad little pig to get. Skin bow can be cut down into more parts. Right, let's chop that up then. I don't know how many spaces I've got for food, but... And how long it will last. But I mean, I'm going to try and keep hold of some. Because I definitely do want to cook some steak. Get some protein in. Oh, there we go. Boar leg. Boar head. Yeah, we'll keep all of that. Each of them... Oh, 12.4 kilograms? God damn. I think it's probably best to actually get rid of one of these rifles. Right, yeah. Let's unload this up then as well. Uh, unload ammunition. And check ammunition again. Make sure it's empty. Nice. All right. Let me drop that on the floor then. That one is at 91%. This one is at 100 so... We'll apply that one back onto slot two. Throw the suppressor back on it. It says it can... Oh, it's a scope, isn't it? I, I wondered what that second slot was for. That'd be real nice if we could find a scope for it. We'll reload all that back up. I, the reason I'm doing this as well, by the way, is just because I want some protein. And I would really like to keep hold of the animal skin. Because I'm fairly certain that I can store arrows in a quiver if I can make that. I'm sure I've seen it. So let me just organize all of this up and I'll show you what we end up with. All right, let's get in that house. I'd rather have a little bit of cover while I show you guys what I've been messing around with for a second. Okay, so when we last left off, we were basically looking at making the animal skin quiver, which is this. And then I got a little bit distracted and found out that we can make a boar head hat. And of course, I've gone ahead and made it. Look at this thing. That looks so badass. It kind of marks as well the fact that we've taken an animal down while hunting it. And you can imagine this thing would be nice and warm for if we do have to head into the snow biome. It's going to be nice and toasty for us, so it's kind of two things in one, which I'm happy about. But if we look at our inventory, I think you've already seen all of this. I didn't really have to get rid of too much, I just traded out one rifle for the other, because there's not really much sense in me carrying two with the amount of stuff that I have. One thing that we do need to look at, though, let's actually put that in our hands real quick. Where's the 357 stuff? It's a bit of a shame, but I kind of expected it. So what we've got right here with this golden deagle is actually a deagle 50. The rounds that we have, a deagle 357, so... Obviously, the rounds won't fit into this one. I was kind of hoping I could squeeze them in or, you know, I could just get away with it. But it turns out, no, we've got to find 50 rounds. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to spend a little bit more time in this area just looting up. And then what I think we're going to do is head out of the town up this road and just see what's going on over here. Maybe see what this is. Go through these narrow winding roads because there's a few little stop off points that I wouldn't mind taking a look at. And then we'll eventually be in the snow biome so we can see what's going on up over there. So I'll be back with you guys in just a couple of minutes. was that wait was that me that triggered it I ran over there and then came over this side I didn't go in the police station I mean, I was running heavy, so I possibly could have triggered it. That's weird. That's quite far away from that road over there. I'm just going to say I found a lighter, which is pretty nice find. 65% too. We got any space for it? I'm rapidly running out of space. What do I need to hold on to? Let's see. Everything I really kind of want to keep now. I don't want to keep paper, though. Let's just get rid of that. There we go. What did I hold on to there? Oh, it's shotgun sh slugs, wasn't it? How many have I got there? 7 out of 20. Can I unpack those and get an extra space? Wait, so the slugs are that color? I thought slugs were green. What are you? Oh, you're bird shot. Oh no, fuck no, we're getting rid of that. Let's keep the slugs out over there then. I don't want bird shot. Bird shot and book shot I'm keeping clear of. Like, I'm just going to keep all of the slugs. I want more range with them. 
We've got some interesting events for you to check out. Try your hand at Deathmatch. Team Deathmatch, capture the flag or cargo drop. Let's play some tunes, shall we? All right, well, I'm going to leave that running. See if that brings anyone in. I mean, worst case scenario, it doesn't, and we don't really get to see anything. If somebody stumbles across that, like a radio plane in the middle of a road like that, it's, it's going to seriously freak them out. So let's just keep it moving. All right, where's the road? Yeah, we need to head this way. We're going to follow this all the way up and see where it takes us. Now the question is, is it going to be third time lucky going up one of these things? Because we've always found pretty cool stuff at the top of this. I think the first thing we found was like a, a head bag. <laughs> this could blind us. Or we could use for uh, kidnapping people. The second one was the hunting rifle. And of course, <laughs> we find sexy jean shots. There's nothing at the top of this. Let me just double check. Yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> all right, well, we can't have it all our own way. Our first few steps into the snow. Seems okay. I mean, only time's going to tell if we're going to get a chill up here, but... We're on track to, to hit whatever this is we're coming up on now. Oh, okay, that's right there. There's some broken down walls. It's in a really cool area, though. Just don't know what it is, is it? Like a small town, is it a factory or something? I don't know what it is about this function, honestly. This mechanic, some people find it hilarious. Some people might even find it unnecessary, but I love it. I think it's great. Right, let's empty the colon. <laughs> I've said it before, guys. Grow up. I honestly try my best not to laugh, but <laughs> you just can't help it, can you? This is our starting point. We're going to use this building and kind of rotate round through that way. And then, seeing as though we still got a little bit of daylight, I think I'm just going to continue going up this road. And then maybe stop here for the night. Because I don't really want to keep running into the, uh, into the pitch black. I really don't know how much you guys were able to see before. I'll probably brighten it up so you can see a little bit more in the video, because I always say this in videos. YouTube unfortunately butchers the quality at nighttime. And it's a shame as well because most games at nighttime they look really cool, but you can't really show that through YouTube, so we're definitely taking those. That is an armored one. They are harder to kill. Yeah, there's not another one laid down. So you guys all saw that then. Basically what that is, it's a military zombie and they have like extra armor on, like helmets, chest pieces and stuff, and they're just a bitch to take out and they're super dangerous with the uh, settings that we have on the server right now. So in fact, let me search him and let's see if we can actually get anything from him because he might have something useful like a vest. Oh, wire, look, there's the wire again. An M16 mag. Hmm. Not come across an M16 yet, but that would be really useful. Well, it takes up that amount of space as well. Let's just keep it on us. It is really damaged, but I don't know if we can use it. I wonder what you were doing here. For a second, I thought we were going to... Oh, what are you? An M9. Oh, let's go. I've got 9 mil rounds as well. Oh, I think I've got a Glock magazine, though. All right, let me just check this real quick. What do we have? Oh, we have a Block 21 magazine, which I'm assuming is a Glock. Let's see what this is like. No rounds in it. Let's see if we can check the ammo. No, it doesn't do it when there's nothing inside of it. What about if we add split 
And then... Chamber? Okay, he's gonna do the, the one round at a time thing, which is nice. That is exactly what would happen. You wouldn't chamber 10 rounds without the actual mag inside of it, so it makes sense. Now, if we're really lucky and fate is on our side, we'll be able to find a magazine. I'm just gonna see if I can actually put an improvised bottle suppressor on the end of the M9. Because even though I've got one round in it, that one round is going to be loud as balls. So I want to make sure that I'm reducing any noise output as much as possible. Let's throw that on there. And then, will you go on this? Oh, you will. Oh, I love that. That's a nice touch. Right, cool. I feel a lot better about this now. I can continually use this now as well because even though it hasn't got the magazine, I can still hold it and eventually, hopefully, come across and get one check these buildings. I'm probably going to go through all of this, to be honest with you guys, just because oh, almost missed that. Is that? That's not an armored one, right? No. Oh, you got like hunting clothes on. Getting these shots down. More accurate now. Let's see what you were in front of. You had birdshot and emergency bandages. I'm absolutely going to be keeping all of those. And uh, nothing else that I can really use. Oh. Just make sure you stay down. God damn. You see that little movement? <laughs> Made me flinch. <laughs> oh, what are you? Oh, you're the uh, shotgun that I lost with the vehicle. <gasps> okay, what do we want to do with this here? Uh... I'm kind of spoiled for choice at this point. Do I want to get rid of the deagle and the flare gun to make space for it? Move you up then. You up there. And then can I squeeze you in this bit? Oh, yes. Nice. All right. A little bit of inventory management, but we're okay. What is this looking like? 33%. That's definitely usable. And I have the slugs as well. So let me just check ammunition. Nothing's inside of it. And if we throw the slugs onto this, there we go. We've got a little bit more in the way of firepower now. I'm glad I've got a shotgun, more so for the bears in the game. I've never seen one, but I've heard they're an absolute bastard to get away from when you're out in the wild. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I've got something with a little bit more stopping power now. Oh, we're sick through hypothermia. That has actually changed things a little bit for us because... It's probably not the smartest of moves to keep it going up here if I do have hypothermia. Maybe just spend the night around here, make a fire, get warm, and then see where we can pick up. Ooh. Oh, that's way nicer than the one we have. Oh, yeah. We're going to get way more use out of this. I mean, that was a nice find. That's more of like a backup thing, but this is an actual real nice find. Now we've got something that we can really put some power down with and not worry about the durability. I mean, I don't know what it's going to be after one shot, but better than what we had. So I've just been freaking out for like a solid 10 minutes because there seems to be a bug right now. When I'm picking up the meat skewers, it's just not showing it in my character's hand and it won't let me cook them. In fact, it bugs my inventory out so much that my screen started shaking, like doing all this motion. But I managed to kind of drag them into my inventory and then drag them onto the floor. I don't know. Maybe they'll cook like this over time. But let's just see how we're doing. I'm not going to risk picking these up again because I was worried that I would lose something. Oh, I have hypothermia, not hypothermia. So we're burning up. Is that what this means? I, I've, I've not, I thought that meant it was damaged at first. Maybe this is actually a temperature of the clothing. Yeah, that would make sense because the earbuds... I mean, would they give you a little bit of temperature back? I don't really know how this works. Hyperthermia. As far as I'm aware, there's two. There's hypo, which is cold, and hyperthermia, which is warm. If I've not got that mixed up, that would tell me there that we're very, very warm. I think I remember something about being able to cool yourself down in streams that might be something totally unrelated though <laughs> i mean let's just risk it because i don't know if this thing is gonna kill me if i don't fix it quick which way do we gotta go all of my clothes are off so we're getting the water now sit down a little bit is that cooling us down 
<laughs> I was just thinking, if anybody else on the server just happens to stumble across what I'm doing right now, <laughs> they are going to get the shock of their life because I'm completely naked, in the snow, in a freezing cold stream, trying to cool down. I mean, how do you explain your way out of that? You just, you just tell them I've got hypothermia. Just so you know, it's hyper, not hypothermia. <laughs> So I'm going to cool down. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, he's definitely dropping. I mean, if you're wondering what I'm looking at, by the way, it's this thing here. You can see the temperature was all the way up there. I think it was at 37. And it's slowly coming down. 36.7. Which means... Oh, we don't have it anymore. Nice. So, right. That's got to be something to do with the clothing then, right? Maybe it was the running. Because I was doing a lot of sprinting while I was looting up around this place. I mean, I'm going to put all of this stuff back on because I still need to test it also. I guess I could get away with not wearing the underwear, not wearing the socks. Equip. Equip. Respirator. Put the axe on there too. And the shoes. Right. How are we looking there? I guess time will only tell. I've got to keep my eye on this then now as well. That's just another thing that we've got to watch out for. And we're still vitamin D deficient, so we're going to have to work on that as well. I just grabbed a couple more logs so I can maintain the fire. Oh, the skewers have gone. It was a little bit of a shame that I couldn't use those, but I didn't want to risk it bugging out my inventory, so I just left them here, but it seems like they've despawned, so don't really need to worry about them anymore. I don't think I'm going to sit next to the fire either, just on the off chance that my character starts burning up again, so let's just sit over here, out of the way. I guess this is actually not a bad idea as well, so if somebody comes in, they're going to be looking like in that corner over there or next to the sofa. But yeah, let's just keep an eye on our temperature then. We are going up a little bit and it's going down. It's kind of fluctuating, going up and down. So I am going to keep my eye on this. The good news is we don't have hypothermia anymore. But we're still vitamin D deficient. So we're going to have to work out a way to treat that. Get some vitamin D inside of us, some foods, some tablets or something. I don't know. But if you guys have got any cool tips that I can use to survive another day, I'll definitely be reading the comments. But for now, we are going to end. So if you guys are joining Scum and you want to see more of it, you know what to do. Drop a like below, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. And that's all I've got.